were you're getting annoyed i know capricorn not with me with your person i see that you're annoyed because you're stuck you don't like it when things are stagnant can't i want to know what are we doing i want to know what are you thinking at least communicate don't leave me in the dark and leave me hanging, hangman. For you, it's easy. You like me, you like me, you don't, you don't. You know, I got places to be. Right? I have other things to do. Yes. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what this is about. First week of June, I wear my PL. My business doubled the store, our e-commerce. It was like overnight. And I said, I'm going to share this secret. We started making it. And then people started to give me their feedback and how it has helped them. Now is your chance to manifest your dreams. Use this PL available at our website, eatreadlove.me. Okay. So Capricorn. You're in a position or in a place uh, where the relationship, this is what I'm seeing. It hasn't been the most productive kind of relationship. Now, what do I mean by that? It hasn't been the best. Okay? As far as the connection, as far as the relationship, you're finding yourself right now where... It's like, what do I got to do here? So what do I have to do here in order for things to progress? Because you find yourself compromising every time. You find yourself giving every time. And it's not like you don't have choices. I do see here that you can if you want to. Your person has been always like, oh, I have to chase them. I have to do this. I have to do that. So you're like not like chase actively, but this is your energy there with a six of wands and a knight of wands okay like your energy is always about kind of like making sure that we're on the same page like you're the one who's picking up everything for them okay and being on the same page you're the problem solver they're the problem you always solve them okay so clearly the hangman here can let go but you don't you have the axe over there you see that that's a symbol of cutting of course you can entangle yourself but you choose not to mm -hmm. can be a younger fire sign also i'm seeing here well you choose i feel like you did choose then you have the tower here mm -hmm. now the tower is the part where <laughs> you said it's like we're done okay this is a i feel like there's a lot of fire there which only means that you really push things to the limit. When I say that, it's like, we're burning bridges. We don't need to talk. There's no reason for us to see each other. Like right? You really lit everything here, okay? Because you're infuriated. Um, the Scorpios got this. Five of Wands, they got this card. Okay, so maybe connected with a Scorpio. Um, if you see there, you felt, you feel attacked by them. You know, it's like, you always leave me with no choice. You always do things where, well, kind of like you don't want them to do. So they're not cooperative, right? Your person always finds an excuse. They always make, uh, I feel like, um, um, how do you say this? Like, they always made it difficult for you. They, al you, they always made it like a challenge for the situation to work, okay? Like your person is something, huh? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Yeah. Stresses you out like crazy. You have a nine of swords and the nine of cups. Okay. Felt betrayed by them. Again, somewhat similar reading. I've seen this. Okay. Um, nine of swords, betrayal. Nine of cups, they do they whatever they want. You take care of their needs. Again, this is something like a Scorpio read. I know it's a Capricorn. But with the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Cups, look how feeling betrayed you are. Mm -hmm. Like the stress and anxiety, of course, is the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Cups is the part where, um, how can you do this to me? 
I thought we're in the same page, you know, because the Nine of Cups enjoys, enjoys, enjoys. So if we're serious about the relationship, you're not, I mean, they're not being serious with you. Mm -hmm. I see that here. Okay, the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so clearly, um, you want out Ace of Swords. I feel like you're going to find out who this Queen of Wands is. I don't see that Queen of Wands is you. So this is what they have been entertaining. Nine of Cups and a Queen of Wands, whoever that person is. And you are so upset with your person. And this is something that you probably feel like, um, how do you say this? It's like a betrayal of your trust over here. And whoever this person, the Queen of Wands is, I feel like you don't want to be part of it. Okay, it can be a Leo. Okay, this is getting spicier here. Yep, you have Seven of Wands here, which only means that the Capricorn is saying, enough is enough, I know what lies you have. Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. You're restricting any kind of interaction between you and your person because you're finding out how much, okay, your person is this, how dishonest your person is. If you see here, okay, someone is hiding, okay, so this is someone who has some sort of like malicious intent, and that's you. And then here with the Seven of Cups with the Queen of Wands, I'm not sure if they got someone pregnant, but Ace of Swords, truth is, like they got some, you know, they got involved with someone else. If it's not about getting pregnant, the Seven of Cups is like they're, they're, I mean, the Seven of Cups here is an opportunity. Look at that. It's a dream baby, right? But the way I see this is like if you're not the one pregnant, someone else, and you're saying here Seven of Wands, it's like, no, oh, no, 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 no. I will not be part of a third party situation. Okay. Now I'm separate. I'm gonna continue this, of course, but I'm just separating your career, your business, your finance reading. Okay. Do be watchful on our on the coming Thursday, Thursday, Friday. We have a big launch on our PL collection. It is a must see. Okay. Let me see here. Your career. Your. <laughs> I, got, I did this for another subject. They got the lover's card. A lot of people cannot focus on their career because they're so focused on their love. The two of cups. Okay. Now, two of cups is business partnership. Okay. Because the lovers. Because this is about, you know, this is partner. So you may be looking for a business partner to work with also with the two of cups. Can be a Leo. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. You got a queen of coins and the six of cups. Okay. I tried Capricorn. Okay. You're about nostalgia of the past, Six of Cups, but this can also be a hobby, not the husband, a hobby from the past that you want to make a career out of. So think of it something like, I don't know, you crochet, you knit, you, you're a stylist, you're a makeup artist, aesthetician, you know, or you cook, you're a chef, you're a baker, you're a cupcake, you know, something that you used to do as a, as a child or as a kid that, you know, a musician that you want to go back into because you feel that this is what your soul is calling. Okay, now, this is what I recommend, of course, is the Real Gold PL for coins. Okay, it's natural citrine. Our website is eatreadlove.me. We do ship international. Lately, okay, I've been spending a lot. So I put, you always combine the PL with another gemstone bracelet, always two. So this one is tiger's eye with black spinel. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know. Okay, so that's that one. Okay, it's available. It's in the, I'll tag it in the corner of this video also. Two of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups. Uh, two of Cups with the Queen of Pe Coins. You have opportunities abroad. Ace of Swords is travel. Ace of Swords is victory. Three of Wands is move and relocation. So I see that you can be investing far from where you're at. Sometimes people's success can be channeled, or yeah, channeled is the right word in astrology. Um, by relocating, it activates. So some people have to be far from homeland in order for the coins to manifest. So that might be you. Now, let's continue with your person here. So remember how your person is such a pain. Your person is such a issue. Let me see. Queen of coins. All right. Who's the issue here? It's getting interesting. Oh, the justice. And the Emperor. Okay, so it's a battle between, well, I don't think it's a battle between you. 
But it's them right now is being defensive, passive aggressive, Emperor and the Justice card with the Queen of Pentacles. I'm seeing that your person right now, okay, the way that they're approaching this is more of like um how do you say this? Like distancing doesn't want to be accused or doesn't want to be put into a corner because justice here is like you know the, the hands. I feel like they're guilty of something, and they're keeping themselves in the dark as an emperor. And you know though, you already know what they've done and what they've uh, what they've done. So you're just sitting there and you're just saying it's like, mm -hmm, I know, I know what you did. Mm -hmm. It's like you're waiting for them to admit. Yep. You have a Knight of Cups and the Four of Cups. I'm seeing here that your person is dilly-dally over here, like taking a chill pill, mm -hmm. like ignoring, ignoring, ignoring Capricorn. I'm seeing that they don't want to get um, incriminated, is that what it is, with the Justice card? So they're thinking about Two of Swords, either to message you, and you have here the Ten of Wands. So they claim that they're too busy. They have a lot of responsibility right now, but I feel like you know what they're doing. Four of Cups to the Two of Swords. I feel like you know that this is just a person who's mm, doing a round roundabout. Is that a roundabout? But they do have here the Four of Wands and the Five of Cups. The longer that there is no contact, your person is miserable there, thinking of the good times that you guys have. So clearly your person does feel the Four of Wands. Okay, so and it's sitting on top of the Emperor. Yes, so there are deep, there is a deep connection between the two of you. But if you guys are this four of wands, then who is this? That's my question. Because mm -hmm. you ain't the queen of wands, I can tell you that. You're the queen of pentacles. That's why you separate with this person. Mm. Oh, okay. Guess what they're about to do? They're about to take action about this relationship. And time and time they thought about it, but this is what they want to manifest here. Their true intentions to you is something that you have waited for, I feel like, quite some time. And if they're giving you breadcrumbs, I'm seeing it here also. There's a Gemini, there's a Capricorn, there's a Taurus, there's a Libra, the Leo's there, the Pisces, and a Sag. If you want to know more about this reading and you're connecting with it, link in the description box below for the extended. I will continue it there. Please make sure to check out our lovely Piao collection. There's a Piao for everyone, so try to connect with one. I'll tag it in the corner of this video. Our website is eatreelove.me. I'll see you guys again.